What's up legends? Today we're going to be cooking some lamb rack, a whole rack with magic dust. We're going to do some roasted potato gnocchi and some honey gremolata with some nice fresh lemon zest. Let's go. So what you want to do first is get your potatoes in the oven. All right, so next job, we're going to make a paste with the magic dust and some olive oil to rub on our lamb. So we've got a beautiful lamb rack here. It's been sitting in the fridge for about 24 hours just so it's nice and dried out. That skin's nice and it's going to get nice and crispy. So uh, we're just going to leave it as is, not going to trim it up at all. We're going to get all that nice juicy meat flavor in there. So now we're going to let that sit for about half an hour while we go fire up our Weber kettle. and some lemon zest, lemon juice, a little bit of fresh garlic, some honey and some olive oil. Gremolata is a really nice way, it's a finishing dressing, so a really nice way to finish off your lamb because it's got those nice complementary flavours that we're after and it's going to be top notch. Now that our parsley is chopped, we're going to add our fresh lemon zest. If you haven't got a microplane, you can peel it with a peeler and then chop it up. Here's a chef tip. Put some boiling water into your garlic and it'll help to be able to peel it off. Boil it for about one minute and then the skin will just peel away like that. So then we're actually gonna microplane the garlic into that as well. All right, now we're gonna add our honey. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of honey. Maybe three, call it three. We're gonna give a nice whack of olive oil. About the same, three tablespoons. Some nice lemon juice. And we're gonna finish it with some nice smoke finishing salt. We got our potatoes cooked. We're going to cut them in half, scoop out the flesh, and we're gonna make our gnocchi. What I've got here is called a tabby or a drum sieve because uh, it's in the shape of a drum and it's a sieve. So you, uh, it's really important to pass the potato uh, through one of these uh, so it makes it really soft and smooth and if you don't do this what happens is it will end up being lumpy and to make gnocchi it needs to be smooth. So you can pass it through one of these or you can uh, use a ricer. Uh, you can find a ricer at pretty much any food store, any uh, homeware store they'll sell them. Uh, and yeah, they're pretty inexpensive, about 10 or 15 dollars. So now we've got all our potato past. We're going to add our egg yolks and flour, give it a nice knead. We're going to add some uh, grated parmesan, a little bit of our magic dust. Uh, and some finish it off with a little bit of smoke finishing salt. So let's go. So just gently incorporate it all together and then you can start to squeeze it together to make sure it's all nice and combined. Now the key, the key to making nice gnocchi is not overworking it. You don't want it to be really hard and doughy, but you still want it to have enough flour to hold together. That is the key. And you can see how, as I'm folding it together now, how it's all just magically come together because there's just the right amount of flour in there. That's exactly the right colour that we're after.
rested for about 15 minutes. It's come to an internal of 45 degrees, so it's rested to about 55, so it's a good, nice, medium rare. Uh, the gnocchi is cooked and nice and crispy. Have a look at those. That's just gorgeous. Stunning. We've got our honey gremolata. Uh, we're gonna plate it up. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>